Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. So we are discussing about the latest version of Node. Actually not latest, this is the latest 80s version of Node.js. Always we need to use LTS version because these are mainly error free and if you use the current version of Node.js, that time you may have some get error or something, right? So always use the LTS version that will be the stable version of the Node.js. So if you just check node minus b that is will show the version that is a 16.13.1. So we are discussing about the node chase and in this video we are going to discuss about the node module concept. We already discussed about 3-4 videos previously in this series. So if you don't see please see the previous video as well so that you will get understanding from the beginning and the playlist links are provided in the description section okay so let's clear this sorry let's clear this now the point is what is node modules suppose if you just check the previous day code so this is my previous day code we have created some functions we consoling that we have created another functions we consoling that and we use some arrow function also suppose in a application in a large application if i want multiple functions multiple features multiple things so in a single js if you write all those things is it possible absolutely not we cannot maintain that properly so that we need some others js page so that we can add into here and we can import or export anything whatever we want in that situation right so based on our situation we will import the particular js so how we can do this basically in node.js module system each file is treated as a separate module suppose let's create a another um, file that is i want to create another file suppose circle dot js okay so basically this file is purpose for to calculate suppose uh, i want to calculate some area of a circle i want to calculate some circumference of the circle so we need this thing so basically we will create two functions and we will call from the index j so let's remove the old things so we will start from the new right now the point is suppose in a circle.js i want to create some functions or some things which i want to get from index.js so what we need to do actually so first of all let's create simple js suppose i want to create a variable suppose for circle we know the pi r square that is r is the radius of the circle and pi is the constant value so let's declare the constant so let's declare constant and let's write pi pi okay and we know the pi value and we'll use the math function here so let's simply write math okay and here i just want to get the value of area from others so we need to export that things so simply write exports dot area so area will be the variable we'll get from the indexes right so create a arrow function and we'll pass the parameter r from here and I don't know the value of r actually we will pass the r from the index.js when you call the circle.js and here let's use the pi that is the constant and star r square means double star 2 right so area is added so now we need to call this from the index.js so first we need to create a constant suppose so right here constant and circle okay so let's create a variable so we can access all the uh, exports element from here so write circle and require and let's use the circle.js and as we can see the circle.js in the same directory so we can write in simply this way dot slash circle okay and simply uh, just call area so how to call this so we can call all the things which have the exported property right so if you just want to get access of area we need to export this first and then we can access from here so simply just write console dot log and simply just use the back tick and write here 
the area is and I will call the functions so simply um, right here dollar curly braces start close and inside here just use the circle so circle dot the area and we to pass this r value right so we are getting r from this parameter suppose i want to pass the r that is 4 right and let's close this and now if you just go here and run note the file name that is index.js and we can see the area is 50.265 something so right so now just change the value suppose i want to change the value to the 10 then we'll get the different output actually the pi value is added that's the reason this type of output right now if i just going to create another thing suppose if i just want to add the circumference so how we can do this so we need the radius value if we just going to create a circumference so now just write this in this way and instead of area we just write suppose um, circumference right so just short form cir and let's change the formula so the formula is 2 into pi into r so simply write 2 star pi r so we don't need to square so this is the formula of circumference now if i just call this so simply just copy from previous and paste this here and let's call c i r okay so this thing now we'll get the circumference of the now we can get the circumference of the circle so simply just run we are getting sorry there will be the circumference so simply write here circumference c i r c u m f e r e n c s okay so we are getting the output cool right now the thing is if i want to restrict suppose i want to restrict variables so i don't want to export these things so simply write in this way and if i just call this from here it will not get print it will get some error right so circle cir is not a function that means it cannot find right so every time we need to export the things so that we can call this or we can include from the other spike right so in this way we can make some variable as a private some variable as public right so we can control what we want to export and what not so let's clear this and let's try to do other things suppose i want to return some object how we can we return this suppose if i just create another file uh, there we have a circle dot js and create another file suppose uh, data dot js i want to get the access from data dot js in the same way we can write module dot exports so right here exports and inside here just write as object suppose name and colon suppose name is john doe and simply write the email of sorry email then we can write in this way email that is john at the rate email dot com and let's add another property suppose age suppose age is 40 right so these are the things so we are getting the exports from this data dot chase so we have to call this from here in the same way just create another const constant or you can define as a bear or lead you can say any things right so i am declaring the constant previously so let's create a bear right so simply write bear and uh, here simply just create another thing suppose data equal to the require and simply just use slash um, data dot js okay so simply write data dot js and we can get access of these things so simply write console dot log and here simply write data okay so now if i just go here and let's 
print this so node index.js cannot find module data.js why sorry we need to add this dot here and write in this way so we are getting the object okay so let's clear this and print again so we are getting all the objects so if i just want to get the particular suppose i want to print the particular email so that we can write in this way also simply write console.lib and what is the value data dot email so simply write dot email. okay and now if i just go here again and we can see the email in this way if i just write data dot name data dot age we can get the specific one so this is the all about the module concept so next day we are going to discuss about the another things related to the modules so we'll go some advanced topic related to modules so i hope you will like this video and please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day